Finally tonight, Made in America is back, and this evening, a popular staple of the American breakfast. It might be in your fridge. If so, it would make one Italian immigrant very happy. 70 years ago in Florida. Height of the citrus season in the groves near Bradenton, Florida. Oranges trucked to Tropicana's plant, and who knew it was all started by an Italian immigrant, Anthony Rossi. His goal, getting fresh squeezed orange juice to front doors across America. And now it's found in the coldest part of nearly every grocery store. David, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, You're in the coldest part of the store. <laughs> Becca Kerr says years later, everyone at Tropicana is proud of Anthony and that early idea. He was the one who came up with pasteurizing the juice, right? That's right, and that's what allows you to take it beyond the grove. And it all comes from those hand-picked Valencia oranges. What is it about the Florida orange? So Florida oranges are really great for making juice. California is great for eating. Florida oranges are the best for juicing. And we went to find them. High Hat Ranch, Sarasota, Florida, where third generation farmer Rick Turner has been on the farm for 30 years. Orange juice is made in Florida. Uh, that's it. The Florida citrus growers are just so proud to be part of that. Picked and shipped to Tropicana's plant where 900 workers juice and bottle them. There are families that have worked here and generations of people that have worked here. Zenobia West on the line for 20 years. Kurt Wolbert, now fruit operations manager. When you bring out the OJ from the fridge and it's it's something that you know that you made, makes makes your whole family proud, right? 2.5 million bottles a day shipped across this country. Florida's leading crop flows out to the entire country. The dream of that Italian immigrant is still alive tonight with three words in mind. <laughs> Aid in America and another great one coming here next week. In the meantime, I'm David Muir. I'll see you in the morning on GMA and right back here tomorrow night.